Hey guys, what's up? Today in this video you'll be hearing my spoiler-free review of Godzilla x Kong, The New Empire, so let's just jump right into it. To put it plainly it's an enjoyable movie, full of fun and goofy action scenes, fun human dynamics and very stunning visuals. Adam Wingard does really know what he's doing and one thing I especially liked and appreciated is that it handles world building very well. There are many subtle connections to previous movies and characters, and that creates a sense of connection we haven't really had in the first four movies. Kong is handled especially well in this movie, showing us how loneliness is affecting him and how his behavior in life changes when he meets Suko. Although I wish we had more dynamic scenes between him and Ja in this movie, it's still pretty well done. One especially interesting moment is when he enters the Kingdom of Kongs, feeling welcome for the first time before finding out evil Scar King rules over them. For once he felt like he belonged somewhere, only to find out that place is dictated by evil, sending him into a short but quite heavy existential crisis. Godzilla is also handled very well, fully leaning on his anti-hero side of things, as we have seen in the trailers and previous movies he's the protector of Earth, not of humankind. And his actions in this movie mostly feel rational for him. Over the course of the movie you'll see a lot of instances where Godzilla causes unnecessary casualties and damage, which can be a bit confusing at first, but the more you think about who he is and what he stands for, the more sense it makes. Now let's talk about Scar King, that's where I have a few conflicting thoughts. Don't get me wrong, I really enjoyed his character but there was that feeling of a wasted potential which Scar King was. Scar King's screen time is much less than I thought it'd be, I don't want to spoil you on the specifics but the more you watch Scar King fight and be on screen, the less intimidating he feels. Human characters are also very well written and enjoyable, especially this new guy Trapper which has instantly become my new favorite human character in the MonsterVerse. And if you were worried about humans interrupting action scenes like previous movies, you can rest easy because there are no such instances in this movie. Overall, the movie is extremely fun and goofy and is very enjoyable. I'd recommend seeing it with your friends to have a few good laughs together, because this movie, despite some of its flaws, certainly isn't boring or slow. I'd give this movie 8 out of 10, and if you trust me I recommend you to see it on the biggest screen possible. Thanks for watching, and until we meet next time, peace. Autonomy is an illusion.